We're here with men's and women's swimming head coach Rick Haw after a meet with University of New England here at the Harold Elfound Center. Uh, the men suffered a close loss, uh, 127 to 111, and the women suffered a defeat of 144 to 90 against the Nor'easters today. Uh, coach Haw, just talk about the efforts uh, this afternoon from your swimmers. Well, um, I'll tell you what I told the team just a few minutes ago in our meeting. Um, we're coming off of double sessions, probably the peak uh, training that we will see all season long. Um, multiple days of double practices back to back. Um, they swam well for, for what we did. Um, they're exhausted, they're tired, uh, they're hurt. Uh, a lot of them were in the trainers immediately after the, the meet. Um, but for, for what we did uh, and what our times were, um, I was pleased, it's exactly what I expected. Um, coming off of that type of training, and I think it set us up uh, for the, the final stretch here, the final month of the season. Uh, a couple of records fell today uh, for the men. Um, Antonio DeVecchio broke the 50 fly record, and uh, of course the 200 fly, as you mentioned in our conversation earlier, had never been swam before, but still a good base. Uh, Adam Gollin set that today. Um, the men's program this year has certainly seen a, a shot in the arm. Um, talk about how that program has developed with a really good class of, of newcomers. Well, one of the goals, um, obviously, when I got this position uh, four years ago, was to try to try to build the program um, as quickly and, and uh, you know as much as possible. Uh, this past year, we we were we benefited from the addition of uh, I believe it's seven freshmen at this point here on the program, um, and uh, each and every one of them bring. A set of standards that either matched what we already had on the program or, or exceeded it and in turn that's pushed the returning swimmers um, to another level. Uh, practices have been more intense. Obviously at the meets it rounds us out whereas in years past we uh, we left events open. Uh, we were uh, scrambling to try to put together different relays and, and put our best foot forward in every meet. Now there's some wiggle room, now there's some flexibility um, as to what these, these swimmers can swim. In a lot of cases, they're coming in never having swum some of these events, um, but what they've shown in practice uh, led me to put them in some different events this first half of the year, mm -hmm. and things are clicking. Um, I'm really happy where we're at. The, uh, the standards that are being set, like you said, Adam, swimming the 200 fly, where it had never been done before. Same thing is true at GeneX. We, we swam the four medley relay for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. So we're setting those standards. We're setting those bars for whether it be later on this year to try to raise those bars or, or in future years with future classes. Right, and the men this year, of course, getting their first win in yeah. program history. Yeah. Talk about that. Um, that, that was big, um, especially for the four returners that we, mm -hmm. we have on the program. Um, that's something that we've, we've pushed for um, year after year, trying our best with, with low numbers. We had the talent, we just didn't have the numbers in a lot of cases. And, um, you know, last year we, we lost to UNE by five points, we lost to Gordon by one point. Mm -hmm. um, so we were right on the cusp with those four guys. And so we knew if we got some more talent, some more numbers, that we would be at those levels. And uh, for us to be able to get our first win was, was huge and uh, especially for the seniors that have seen it from, from really just after day one when they were first here and hmm. were with me on that first meeting and, and looking at things. And um, it was a really special time and I think each and every one of those guys really enjoyed that, so. No doubt about it. Now back to the women's side here. Uh, this year has been another strong year for the women's program. Many individual records have fallen. Um, they broke the, uh, what was it, 200, 200, medley, relay 200 medley relay on, on Saturday. Saturday. Yep. Um, so the women have stepped up their game as well this, this winter. They have, and I think that, that goes along with bringing in um, some of the freshmen on the women's side, but also some of the freshmen on the men's side. Mm -hmm. um, there's, a, there's a good kind of back and forth, um, I think. They push each other in practice, you know. Um, it's kind of unique to swimming. It is. It is. Yeah. Um, you know, there are some teams that will practice separately. A lot of teams at this level um, will practice together, and same practice time. Um, we may change intervals and in practice and that sort of stuff slightly, but for the most part, there's a lot of pushing and a lot of um, 
egging on and a lot of support though mm. as well because uh, you know the women have wanted to see the men do well for so long and for them to really take this step um, you know one thing I stressed with the men were to make sure that they were supporting the women because they've been there every mm -hmm. step of the way so there's been a real good back and forth and uh, I think just in general we've moved forward in, in the right direction this year and, and we're seeing the results of, of a lot of those efforts no, no doubt a credit to you and and uh, your assistant Ashton Pierce who of course is an alum of St. Joe's um, I'll, I'll talk about going forward here you have two head-to-head -head meets remaining and then you go into the New Englands, um, which is, of course, in, in White River Junction again this year. Yes. Um, talk about what's, what's ahead. Okay. Um, we swim Simmons on Saturday uh, coming up. They are the top team in the GNAC and typically are in the top half of, of our New England meet. Hmm. Um, they, they have a lot of numbers. They have a lot of talent. Um, similar to UNE in that we will have a lot of good races. Um, I just think our numbers may not be solid enough to, to beat them in a dual mm. meet format. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things that we're just going to come off this weekend's meet where we're exhausted. This week maybe start to get a little more rest under our belts, start to see some of those times get back to where they normally are or kids that were close to qualifying and qualify. Um, and then after that, we've got a week off, uh, which will be good. And I know the kids are really looking forward to that kind of chance to just rest for uh, a weekend. And then, uh, then we'll swim Gordon. And, uh, you know, again, last year on the men's side, it was a one-point loss to them. Um, the women always swim us strong. So I, I'm, I'm looking forward to possibly our first ever win-win uh, on both the men's and the women's mm. that weekend. We haven't had that. Uh, yet in program history, um, but uh, that's probably where that might happen. Um, and then uh, after that, we've got New England. So I mean, literally, we've got about four weeks left, and uh, I'm really looking forward to the next two meets being where uh, we start to kind of set that bar, yeah. make sure we're on the right note, on the right track, heading into championships. And one final question. Uh, this Saturday is going to be your senior day. Yes and quite a group of contributing seniors, uh, both on men and women. Yes. Um, talk about that. Uh, final question here. I don't want to <laughs> hold you too long. Well, um, <clears throat> you know, those, those six seniors uh, are very special to me. Um, mm. They were freshmen when I took over and uh, bought in from day one with my philosophy and have been there every step of the way, even as freshmen that first year, if I needed something done. I could look to the captains and such, but if, if I just in passing said something, they were always there and willing to help out. Um, they've seen the program basically from the ground up, and um, I don't have the exact numbers, but uh, they are involved in just about every single record that has been set here mm. um, in program history. So that, uh, that's going to be hard for me to see them go. Um, I know they'll still be in touch and still be with the program and, and want to see us do well. But um, it's going to be very difficult to not write their names on the roster mm -hmm. and uh, in the meat lineup and those sort of things. Um, you know, there's there's something about that that group that I start with. You know, it, it happened in my previous coaching life at Deering, and, and yeah. that, that group that leaves, it's it's uh, it's really hard. And and you know, you know, they gave it their all, and and that's all I've ever asked of them. And and uh, so. Senior day is going to be very interesting, and uh, and so will so will the last four weeks of the season. You know, it's something I think about quite a bit. And right. The fact that they're not going to be here. Um, that first four-year group is certainly special. Of course, we're talking about uh, Hannah Gajewski, Jamie Boykiewicz, Annie Roberts, and Rose Macaron uh, for the women, and Kevin Town and Brian Grasser for the men. Um, a very impressive yes. group, and their names are littered throughout the swimming record book here at St. Joe's. Coach, thank you so much for your time, thank you. and uh, good luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much.